What's up, good people? This is your boy Big Vic back again with another video. Um, today we on this hip hop, right? I'm back in Reason, of course. Was gonna leave Reason like that, y'all know I'm 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 Reason certified. So um, <clears throat> yeah, we got this hip hop track. I'm a I'm a call it Boom Bapish. Boom Bapish, Boom Bap. It may not sound like Boom Bap to some people, but to my ear, this is a boom bapish, west, east kind of feel to me. Um, I just want to talk about a little bit of the sound design for this particular track. Someone asked me a question. Um, they asked me how do I select sounds for my production. Um, and the answer to that question is most times it just depends on the mood of the, the track that I'm going for. And I will go through sounds to select. Uh, <clears throat> I will go through several different sounds depending on the beat I'm trying to make. So in this track, when and before I get into that, um, let me do a quick house cleaning rules. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that button below. Let's get you subscribed so you can get notifications when I upload new videos. All right. Now that we have that out the way, and if you're not, and if you are subscribed and you don't get notifications when I upload new videos, make sure there's another button somewhere down here that you can hit on this video that will notify you when I upload new videos. It is, it is send you a notification to your phone when I upload. All right. So now that that's out the way, back to the sound design. Um... A lot of times it depends on the feel that I'm going for, for the track. Um, and that's how I come up with production. Now, if you're not that, you know, if you're, you're not that advanced, what you can do is, uh, once again, you can go to just study different production, study different tracks, study if you're listening to Boom Bap, if you're listening to Trap Beats, uh, trap beats are probably some of the simplest to make because they pretty much use leads, basses, uh, some of the same overused instruments that you can think of in production. But on the hip hop, boom bap feel, that side, there's you know various different instruments that you could select and using different sounds that you can select. Now, in Reason, a lot of times I do have to do quite a bit of digging to find that sound that I'm looking for um, because Reason has so many different sounds, instruments that you could choose from. Um, and a lot of the sounds, now I'm going to be 100% with you guys. A lot of the sounds and reason, if you were going trying to make a pop record, you can find those sounds with the snap of within the snap of a finger. Like those sounds are right there in your face, ready to go. You know, EDM tracks, you can find them like almost instantaneously. You can find those track those sounds and reason because um, a lot of the sounds and reason are catered to the to a lot of those those genres. So for hip hop. I've always had to kind of dig deep and find certain sounds that I feel will work for a hip hop track. And um, that's how I come up with a lot of the sounds. I do a lot of digging in reason to find those sounds. Now, now that that's out the way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the track, uh, let you guys hear it, and kind of go through a breakdown of the track afterwards. So, uh, Let's get into it.
Now, also in this track, I have I have what I call some uh, my B sounds, um, and some of these some of these B sounds I could use for the chorus. Um, also, I can use some of these B sounds to kind of change up the beat, you know, so it's not monotonous. If I actually sequence the track out and I want some changes to be in the beat. So these sounds right here that I have muted, I would consider these my B sounds for either the hook or just to change up the, you know, how the flow of the track is going. Just some instruments that will change up the mood of it. So here they go. So those particular sounds are like kind of in the cut. So if I'm actually tracking this out and sequencing the beat, I can just, you know, kind of move these around, have them come in and out of the track, depending on, you know, where I want them to go. And um, a lot of times that will give your, you know, kind of give your track something a little, you know, some some extra, some extra juice. So I call it a little, a, a little boost just to, just to switch up the sound a little bit so it's not that monotonous going all the way through so you can kind of change it up and it'll get it it's still the same track of course but it's just going to give it just a slightly different feel as people are listening to it or if an artist is on that track so so let's go let's go, just go through and uh check out some of these sounds let me unmute this and see what we got here Got this out of the um, ID8 combinator, ambient piano, and this this piano kind of works as my kind of works as a my hi hat for the track because it's you know it's continuous through the track. Then I use a wild lead. I just threw that in for uh, it comes in. It makes an appearance. Then we came in and we used the grand piano. So we got the grand piano, and I came in with this combinator and used the Glock. Then we got my bass. We used the Amazona bass. You've guys seen me use that several times in, in a lot of my production. And that bass is so subtle, but it's it's nice and it sits nice and fat in the track. It sits it always sits perfect in the in the track when I use it. Then we got the pizzicato. Notice how a lot of times when I I use instruments. You'll see that if there's a if there if an instrument plays, a lot of times it's usually playing sort of by itself, and there's nothing 
usually either coming on, you know, really right on top of it, unless it's something that I brought the levels really down low on. But it's usually standing out by itself on the track. All right, then we got the the Maelstrom. We use the Wahoo, Wahoo, Ha Wahoo. <laughs> Then we got the synth. And this is the scorched synth. And that, that particular synth right there would be one of those B sounds. So a lot of these other sounds I would not, I would have, it would be muted. That sound would probably play um, by itself with probably the piano or something like that, but nothing that would actually make it sound crowded. So that sound definitely wouldn't have a lot of things going on around it. Um, and then we had the, the strings. Now the strings would definitely be a part of the chorus. Again, that was the Lord of the Strings. And then we got my tambourines, which came from Dr. Octo Rex. And this is these tambourines are pretty much looped. So they go like And then of course the drums. So that was just something kind of quick just to give you guys an idea of how I kind of, you know, come up with my sounds and um, probably, probably the easiest way um, is to listen to a lot of, just listen to a lot of records, a lot of older hip hop records and just listen to some of the instruments that they used in some of those records. And you, a lot of times you can get ideas that will help you find instruments and reason that can give you, you know, similar feels or um, just give you more ideas for, you know, for your instrument selection. Um, and for certain beats, a lot of times it's just certain instruments that's, that, that's going to work well for that type of production. Um, so that's that's a real important key right there. So. That's it for, for that one, y'all. I hope y'all guys enjoyed that video, man. I hope you got something out of it. Um, hopefully, it helped you. It helped trigger some more, you know, some more ideas for you and kind of help put you on, you know, on the on the right track for your production. Um, once again, if you haven't subscribed, man, hit that subscribe button. It's your boy Big Vic. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. All right, peace and love. I just got a bag of goodies.